Okay, so here we are in Camtasia Studio, and what I'm going to do is to go to my clip bin where I actually have a screen I've captured. Captured this using TechSmith Snagit, and I'll place it in there. This screen is a screenshot of Adobe RoboHelp, which has several different areas. So what we're going to cover in this video is how to provide that little spotlight or the highlighting of the different areas and how to move that around. So I've got my screen capture on my Camtasia timeline. And the next thing I want to do is to insert a callout. The callout I want to use is known as the spotlight callout. Now notice that callouts is disabled for me. It's kind of unavailable. I can't really do much here. And that's because the screen capture, the image, has focus. So if I click here to give focus to track two, now I can actually click and choose the callout type. So there's the spotlight callout. The callout is actually on my timeline now. And you can see that if I put my the uh, playhead right here in the center, the spotlight part is what provides the highlighting. So I'm going to say, let's first off select this area. So when the video starts, then this area is maybe what we're going to talk about. And maybe we don't want that to just be highlighted immediately. Maybe we've got some discussion that needs to go on prior to actually you know, making this appear. So maybe I want it to fade in for perhaps one second. And now it's matching beginning and end. So playhead starts as it reaches here. It fades in. And you know, maybe the discussion occurs for that area for that duration of time. So later, I'm going to make the screenshot last longer here. So maybe the discussion now needs to focus on this little area below. So let me take the spotlight call out and just drag the timing out. So notice the call out's there. And at this point, perhaps, this is where we want the call out to, to spotlight to move to highlight this area. And what we do is we use the visual properties. So if I click visual properties here and if you don't see it again click more and you should see visual properties on your list here But if I click visual properties I am able to say alright let's add an animation and again once I've added that animation it shows up oh I hate that little pop-up that we see <laughs> it shows up as the little arrow there now nothing's changed. We actually haven't told the animation to do anything right now. So if I scrub the playhead, notice that in my little window, the preview window, I'm not seeing any change. And that's because I haven't changed anything as far as the animation. So to get back into edit mode for this guy, I'm going to double click the little dot here at the end of the arrow. And I want to make a change. So let's take the spotlight and drag it down so that now we highlight perhaps this area and then we move the timeline farther down so maybe at this point the discussion now focuses on this area over here to the left so again I'm gonna click the add animation and I'm gonna readjust and I want the spotlight to move now over here And one more time we'll do it. Maybe I'll move the spotlight up here. So we we'll discuss this for a little while. And at this point, I'm going to add another animation. And I want my spotlight to go up and talk about this area here. So here's what it looks like during playback. If I click the play button, talking, talking, blah, blah, blah. There I'm talking now about this particular area coming up now. Let's talk about the area down below. Blah, blah, blah. We're talking about this area down below. And now that we've talked about this area, it now moves to the left. Blah, blah, blah. So hopefully you're getting the gist of how this works. Here in a moment, it's going to go up. And I'll just pause it there. So that's the extent of what it takes to actually make that spotlight kind of move around. Again, we just simply use the visual properties. We add the animation and that's what these little arrows on the media represent. 
the actual animation points and where they go. So hopefully this helps you out. Thank you for watching.